Andy Ruiz is going to destroy Deontay Wilder. Well, at least that's what his pop says. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Man, Andy Ruiz, man, shout out to him. I'm, I'm really happy for him. He's in Mexico right now. He's meeting with the president and being mobbed and welcomed by the people. And he just did some great shit with um boxing beating joshua he's really blown up you know really overnight he went from sixty-eight thousand people following him to almost a million you know this is what we love about the sport of boxing true cinderella man story let me see what he put on his story they got a private a pj for him oh my gosh Wow. Oh shit, it was a handsome man. Put him on the belt. Damn, the IBO belt. I never even seen what the IBO belt looked like. So blessed. Wow. I'm blowing up like you thought I would. I can't play that for copyright reasons. But you guys get the picture. It's all blowing up for him. Very happy. Uh, he's also the Snickers champion, too. Shout out to that. Now, let's get into the quotes from his father. His father says they would welcome really all the fights, you know, including a fight with Wilder's belt. And I want to talk about that. We already won three belts that night in a fight where nobody had faith in us. Only those of us who were part of the team knew that we could win. We always had confidence in taking the titles. Now we want Deontay Wilder's WBC title. We're going to destroy him. You're going to see. We just need that one belt from the WBC. Andres Ruiz. Wow. It's best for Andy to do the rematch, and I do not have the slightest doubt of him winning. For this fight, we had little preparation time because we came in as a replacement but with more time to prepare we will arrive much better many could say that they will win but it is like a snake you hypnotize them and they do not know what to do in the ring so andy has beaten everyone and will continue to do so in addition to anthony joshua there are many opponents for andy there is wilder also there is tyson fury a fight with him would also interest us as I said, the main objective is to conquer all the titles and we only need one more. Boom. All overnight. You know, I like this. I like this from Team Ruiz. Um, I'm glad that they're basking in the moment and just really enjoying life. And Eddie Hearn, I, man, I can't say it enough. Eddie Hearn really, him and his team and Team Joshua, they really, really dropped the ball here. They let this man blow the fuck up overnight. You know, look at the DAZN host looking at all the belts. They didn't expect this. They underestimated the man. And he come out and did what he had to do. Seven reasons. I told you Andy Ruiz is nice and he's not someone to sleep on. This is not even an upset to me like you guys are making it out to be. You just don't know shit about boxing, so you never rated Andy Ruiz. Styles make fights. You know, he might just have Joshua's number stylistically. But anyway, Team Joshua really, really messed up. They let... They let all of, first of all, they messed up because they built Joshua up on what you see on the screen. You know, belts, you know, he's clean cut and proper. And, you know, he doesn't like to, he likes to do things the professional business way. You know, and they just made him kind of like prudish sounding and, you know, focusing on a lot of material things in my perspective. So now that that's gone, his mystique, his aura Everything you've built him on, his image is now tainted because someone else has his belts. That was this is what they talked about um, when they turn pro and how successful they've been, how many belts they have. And Wilder only has one belt. And to be honest, as a real boxing fan, not just a reporter, but a boxing fan, Andy Ruiz's team and Andy Ruiz, what they've all said since conquering the belts is a breath of fresh air. You know, I get it that Ruiz is aligned with Al Heyman 
and on the same side as as uh, Deontay Wilder. But I don't think it's just that. Andy Ruiz's team is saying exactly what I want to hear. They're talking about fighting Wilder for all the straps. They're not making it sound complicated. And whether you think he'll win or not, they say it will destroy him. I like that. You know, um, he has a lot of uh, Mexican-American and Mexican fans now. You know, he has fans who are just fans of boxing and appreciate his story and his struggle and his rise to fame. So it's a good fight. It's a big fight. You know, we don't need to take it to, you know, a situation where the fans are disrespecting other fans. But I think Wilder versus Ruiz, should he get past Joshua, is a big fight now. You know, put that in Vegas, put that, you know, really anywhere. I think it'll do good numbers. And it's it's a fight where this could have all been Joshua. Joshua and Wilder should have fought last year, but they played the game and overplayed their hand. And then now people are already looking at the next fight. But it's a breath of fresh air because Andy Ruiz and his team, they seem about it. They're like, we'll destroy Wilder. We can't wait to show you. So they got one more test. And then I'm looking forward to some good fights because Wilder's slated to fight um, against Luis Ortiz and then Tyson Fury. I don't know how, you know, how deep in the contracts they are, but they might it, with all if if Ruiz comes out and fights in November, let's say, and then whoops Joshua again or beats him again and keeps the belt. I don't know. I don't know if they can abandon the Tyson Fury fight. You know, Wilder has to get past Ortiz, of course. But I don't know if they can abandon it and try to go through Undisputed or if they're bound by contract to fight Tyson Fury. But either way, you know, Wilder or Fury looks like if Ruiz can hold on to those titles, one of them will have to see him. And his team is showing the attitude that they want to fight those kind of guys versus Joshua and his team always kind of gave you the run around said different things said we'll fight but when it's the right time and devil on my shoulder and the angel on this shoulder and you know they have to come to the uk different parameters like that that made it you know not what it's about which is just like the competition actual fights and like style skills the matchup the fans and you know so to me it's kind of a breath breath of fresh air that andy ruiz and his team is you know so appreciative of this moment happy and very humble as champions and they sound genuinely ready and willing to fight top class competition which is what the heavyweight division needs none of this like you know power struggle and you know just non-stop of course there's always going to be the a side and you know who walks out first and this simple stuff but you know it, not to the point where the fights that could have happened last year aren't happening you know that's why hopefully Andy Ruiz is a reality check to these promoters and the people in suits who are trying to string it along and let fights marinate. You got to strike while the iron's hot because you never know, you know. So hopefully this makes people look at their decisions and their matchmaking and everything a bit tighter because people like Andy Ruiz do exist. These Cinderella man, Miracle man stories. And it's a great thing for boxing because he just disrupted and put a glitch in the matrix. And now he's about it and trying to fight Fury or Wilder. I love it. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. If you're new, consider subscribing. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.